Well, lawmakers are back at the state capitol as the military stands guard outside. This is a live picture of the state capitol building. You can see the fencing that now surrounds it. CBS 13's Bursa Perlman with what it's like inside the building ahead of potential unrest on Inauguration Day. From all angles, the National Guard and CHP have eyes on the Capitol. You know, we just appreciate them being here and doing what they're supposed to do. We wish, we wish they didn't have to be here, but we understand why they're here. Lawmakers just returning say they've never seen so much security. It's a little weird when you see, like, you know, someone in full military gear and, a, and you know, a, and a military style uh, rifle. You know, standing there. But while the guard stands strong outside, the CHP is protecting the inside with the usual amount of officers. This is the entrance way to uh, the assembly floor. Um, you know, as you can see, you know, not a lot of people in here. Members of the assembly showed us around the chamber. The normally bustling hallways bare, common rooms left dark, which started during COVID. It's a ghost town, and it shouldn't be that way. And even with threats of possible violence, lawmakers say they feel safe. And in this case, obviously, they, they prepared for the worst, and they're ready, and we're hoping for the best. Well, we are learning members of Antifa are planning to gather tomorrow at Fremont Park in Sacramento. In a social media post, they are calling on everyone against far-right violence to stand with them at 10 a.m. on Inauguration Day.